The NHS is in crisis. Staff say they're at breaking point, but many feel unable to raise their concerns. At the start of this year, we set up an email address asking for your stories from the NHS front line. Since then, we've had hundreds of messages, many of them with harrowing details. But we were struck by the sheer volume of emails that mentioned fears of speaking up, not just to us as a national broadcaster, but also internally within the NHS. Without doubt, people are too scared to whistleblow or believe that there's nothing that can be done. I've always been scared to speak up, but we need to get some real stories out there. Please keep me anonymous as I'm scared of repercussions. Nurses are always under fear of speaking out. Sorry to remain anonymous, but I wouldn't trust my employer to treat me fairly for exposing info that should be in the public domain. And we're not alone. Whistleblowing charity Protect told us that in the last year, 77% of NHS workers who called their helpline reported retaliation as a result of speaking up. And 33% said they were either dismissed or felt they had to resign after doing so. John, not his real name, is a paramedic in the south of England. His experience is typical. If you speak up, you'll be penalised one way or another and it will harm your career. If you're a junior doctor and you speak out about something, you're probably going to remain a junior doctor. And the same stands for our guys in the ambulance crew. In 2015, a government commissioned review into the NHS culture of silence recommended the creation of a network of freedom to speak up guardians across the organisation. Jane Chidgy Clark is the national guardian for England. Everyone comes to work to do a good job and that includes speaking up when something doesn't feel right that can invert patient harm or can be an improvement to the service. And I think at the moment, there's lots of good work being done in organisations to improve the speak up culture. But sadly, in some, there is still an absolute fear of repercussions. NHS England told us in a statement that the NHS is committed to creating a positive work environment and it's completely unacceptable for any member of staff to feel silenced. It's no secret the NHS has many problems. Tackling its culture of secrecy would be one way to start addressing them. Matthew Thompson, Sky News.